As more parents and teachers condemn critical race theory in our kids' classrooms, our next guest is warning about an alarming shift that is happening. Ramona Bessinger has been teaching for 22 years, and she has written in a new op-ed, quote, I'm a middle school teacher and see how critical race curriculum is creating racial hostility in school. She joins us now. Thanks so much for your time. Thanks for joining us. Please tell us your story. As I read to our viewers this quote from your op-ed, that really stops you in your tracks about what is happening in America's classrooms. This past school year, you write, was a sad and worrisome turning point for me as an educator. We were introduced to one of the most racially divisive, hateful, and in large part historically inaccurate curriculums I have ever seen. Some students started calling me America because I was white. These students whom I love were turning against me because of my skin color. Ramona, share your story. Well, I'd like to start with just this, that every single parent, every mother, every father, every student should be concerned right now. Because what I have seen in the past year is nothing short of divisive and uh, going to heighten racial violence um, in our country. The curriculum has replaced all vetted, historically accurate American literature, American history. African American studies. Um, and that to me was the most alarming. So initially we were very, very excited about having a new curriculum that was supposed to increase reading and writing scores, but that is absolutely not the case. The books uh, portray one small part of American history, an important part of American history that all of us should be teaching, which is that slave narrative. It is very important, don't, not to discount that. However, we cannot omit our entire history and our entire culture. Basically, last year, was an er we basically erased all of American history, and that is alarming mm. and worrisome and should be alarming to all of us. And there are some, including a PTA official, who very vocally called out parents and teachers who are anti-CRT. This went viral. Listen. Oh, sorry. I, don't, I do have that. Listen. Let's deny this off-key band of people that are anti-education, anti-teacher, anti-equity, anti-history, anti-live and let live people. Let them die. Ramona, she has now resigned, we are told. Uh, she says in her explanation while doing so that she was not wishing, wish, wishing death on parents opposed to teaching CRT in schools. She hoped rather that parents' right-wing ideals would die. Is that what is that work with these parents who are against CRT in the classroom? Absolutely not. These are not right-wing ideals. These are not left-wing ideals. These are American human ideals. And quite frankly, these issues concern all people, black, white, brown, all people across the United States. This has nothing to do with race. And by the way, if the call is to uh, create diversity and equity, to use one of their phrases, and inclusion, this curriculum that we had to teach in Providence is not that. It is not inclusive, it is not diverse, it is not um, uh, equitable. Mm. Ramona, I know it's, it must be tough to speak out, and I know that while you're doing all this, you're saying yes. you love those children, but um, there are major challenges as an educator right now, and thank you for sharing your story. Thank you. Thank you.